Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to the official final press conference leading up to what will be a great night of world-class professional boxing at London's O2 Arena. It's all brought to you by Matchroom Boxing along with Sky Sports Box Office. And the fighters are behind me and they seem to be ready, getting a little grumpy as they prepare for the official weigh-in tomorrow, along with the promoter. And at this time, let me turn it over to the man in charge of matchroom boxing, Mr. Eddie Hearn. Thank you, Michael. Always a pleasure to have you in town. Four Brits involved in world title fights. Kell Brook against Frankie Gavin, the first time in history the two Brits have challenged for the world welterweight title. Kevin Mitchell challenging three-weight world champion Jorge Linares. And five-time defending champion Yevgeny Gradovich defends against Wales' Lee Selby. Royal Britannia, Saturday night at the O2 Arena. 18,000, sold out, and we can't wait. A young man who, for long periods of time, many believe was going to be the future of British boxing. One of the most talented amateurs this country has ever produced. A former world amateur champion an undefeated British and Commonwealth welterweight champion, and now he gets his chance to fulfill a lifelong dream. Can't wait, really, I'll tell you all along. <coughs> this has uh, gone so quick to build the training camp. Everything's gone to the plan. Uh, a lot to thank Eddie, obviously. Last year, at least got lost, a lot of stuff, getting a world title shot. Well, it's come. I'd like to thank Cal for giving me the opportunity to fight for his world title. No disrespect to Cal, I think Cal's a great fighter. There's not many weaknesses of him. I just think I'm a dad, I'm up there with the rest of the world, and I get a few vibes. I'm too up to do the trial, and I believe I can be the world champion, definitely. Kel, the current IBF welterweight champion in the world, the current Ring Magazine number ranked world welterweight on the planet. People talk about Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao, Amir Khan, but right about now, you've got a tough fight <coughs> against someone you know, the very talented fighter on Saturday night. I'll be you know, training very, very hard in the gym. But I know that when Frankie Gavin looked for it, and I believe you and me, if you're not going to get up for a world title fight, you'll never get up for any fight. So I know what you're going to what you're bring. That's why we've uh, put ourselves through it in the gym. No corner being uh, cut, and we're ready. I know you're a man who thrives on the buzz and the hype and the adrenaline. You're looking forward to walking out? at the O2 on Saturday and see not just one tier but two tier packed with British fight fans. You know me Eddie, I love, I love that, I love that from the fans, you know, but both all over the world and uh, you know the buzz when my music comes out, all of the lies, you know, it's, what I buzz it is, there's no, it's no buzz like that and uh, to be walking out of the O2 packed out arena, it's just going to get even better. In this fight I'm looking to seek and destroy, you know, and to, just to, just to show everyone that I'm the number one in the welterweight division. You know, I'm looking to make a statement, you know, that you know, I'm, the, I'm the man. And I'm expecting Frankie Gavin to give the fans what they want and that's an all-action fight, come, come from a fight. You know, these, these people have uh, you know, paid a lot of money for us to, to fight. So I just want to give the fans, you know, a great fight. And um, like I said, I'm ready to start there. And uh, so Frankie is to 